we welcome you once again to stay for today. And today we are, we're blessed to work with our uh, sister star with us, and she's going to be sharing some things that God has put in her heart, words of encouragement to lift you, strength for today. Sister Good morning, everyone. God bless you all. This morning I'm coming to you with words of encouragement, starting with Psalms 128, verse 24. It says, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will be glad and rejoice in it. Now, you may say, why should I rejoice in this day? It's full of bad news about disease and death and lack and even sadness, hopelessness, and confusion. But the answer is simple. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous, according to Psalms 32 and 11. Now, if you're already experiencing some of these trials and tribulations in your life, you should know that with God, you can only go up from here. So you should look for the silver lining in the midst of this storm. Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. What we can see by faith is greater than what we can see with our physical sight. God is great and greatly to be praised. So let us, as people of God, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, Ephesians 6.10. I'll leave you with these words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Remember these words and let them be your strength for today. God bless you. I'm going to give you to the hands of the pastor. Amen. Thank you, Sister Star, for those very words of encouragement. Amen. Words of strength for today. We're just so glad for each and every one of you calling in and being a part of this. We certainly trust that uh, your hearts have been encouraged and strengthened. Uh, now, on on, on uh, Monday, I was sharing with you, if you recall, that uh, how I, I made a statement. I made several statements there. what they call Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in reality, it is a part of the Old Covenant. It's a part of the Old Testament. Because Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John uh, was written uh, uh, after after it was before Jesus died. If we look at the uh, New Testament and we see the the participation that... uh, the, the things that took place in the New Testament, those things did not happen. They did not happen after Jesus died. They happened before He died. See, the the new is the new will and testament of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we talked about this before. Is that the will do not go into effect until the testator dies. And and this this is what happened at the end of those books. In Jesus, the will. The new will and testament of the Lord Jesus Christ did not go into effect until Jesus died. And furthermore, we we see this. Jesus was made, the scripture says he was made under the law, and he had to be made under the law in order to fulfill the law. And so he kept the law, uh, and he kept the commandments, he kept the law. And so everything Jesus did, it was under the law. And we can see this. Remember the, the lepers that came to Jesus? In in, uh, in Matthew's uh, chapter chapter eight, and he he says to Jesus, he says in verse three, he says, and Jesus put, he said he said to Jesus, if thou wilt, I can make me clean. And he said, Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thy clean. And immediately his leprosy was clean. And Jesus said unto him, See thou tell no man, but go thy way and show thyself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded. For a testimony unto them. Now, what he's saying, he's saying, this is keeping the old covenant. This is keeping the law. He said, go offer the gift that Moses commanded. And then another another one. Remember that young uh, ruler? 
he came to Jesus and he said, "What?" He asked him, "said What? What? Well, what must I do? What must I do in order to be?" He said, "What must I do in order to be saved?" And 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 so he. He he did not he did not uh, Jesus did not tell him Jesus told him he said keep the commandments and see in order to be saved he what must I do in order to inherit eternal life that that was his question but Jesus told him said keep the commandments Jesus instructed him what to do and that what he was to do was to keep the commandments and you see we're born again by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ they were under the old covenant and the old covenant was based on works and whereas the new covenant is based on the uh, grace the unmerited favor of God, the loving kindness of God. It's based on all that Jesus has done for you and I. And so so he, he, Jesus was operating under the old covenant. Amen. And so we, we're going to stop right here. But again, we just thank you all for tuning in and thank God for the grace of God. Thank God for the unmerited favor of God. Amen.